Welcome back to another edition of Cultural Talk right here on Il Global TV. Let's get into it. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Nice to be back. As you can tell, somebody is super happy. We have yeah, a new no format scarf, yeah. this year. We said no scarf, no flag, but for this particular scenario <laughs> and for some special scenario in the future, maybe, maybe some of us will be allowed, but just for special. And today it's special, so we have to do it. Very big weekend, so we better go into straight away, guys. We had so much highlights of gold to show you. This is probably going to take half of the show just for yeah, the video of the gold. So let's go straight into it. Let's go to the Serie A highlights. Wow, welcome back in studio, guys. That was the kind of roller coaster. More than seven minutes of a goal and highlights. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even started talking about it. The longest hole at Real Wow, Real. guys, stop scoring all these goals. All right, give a couple of goals for games. Give us time because it's incredible. So, a quickly one. Let's go straight away to the result. So, we go once again to the result. So, Juventus Lazio 3 1, Inter Milan 5 1, Genoa Napoli 2 0, Cagliari Dinese Nilo. Quickly into the ladder, please. Top of the ladder, Inter with 12 <laughs> points. Juventus second with 10 points. Cagliari Sainzana. 2 and Empoli still 0 points back in studio. <laughs> All right, having said so guys, today we have a s lots of reports. So we go straight to Anthony from Sydney is going to report us on the big derby della Madonnina and then <laughs> Oh you Ale. All right, let's go. Ciao ragazzi and everybody in the studio, Anthony back here for Cultural Talk. Thank you for allowing me to give my two cents from the much happier perspective of Milano and that is from the Nerazzurri side, Inter 5, Milan 1. Condolences to our friend Matteo but beaten by the better side. If it's okay, I'm only going to really talk about Inter as I don't think the 5-1 result is a fair indicator of how Milan's season is going to play out. However, it definitely was a fair indicator of the performance on the day. It just highlighted the strength in depth that Inter have again this season. The likes of Stefano Sensi, Juan Cuadrado, Alexis Sanchez, Benjamin Pavard, Jan Bisek, all did not get minutes. Thank you once again to everybody in the studio at Cultural Talk for having me this week. And hopefully Inter can continue this trend. Ciao. Oh, that was good. That was very good. Uh, thank you, Anthony, for your report. Actually, you could tell from your voice and your words there is another happy uh, friend in Sydney. So we well, let him. We let him. Might as we well. Let, we'll Look, let you have. Uh, what's there to say? I mean, I agree with everything that Anthony said. Like every week, actually. Um, but I wonder why you and oh, always exactly. agree. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Um, but yeah, it was just. It was, I also agree with the point that he made about Milan. I don't think it's a. A, flare ref a fair reflection of how their season is going to turn out. I just think... Oh, look, uh, Napoli lost uh, against Milan last year 5-2. Exactly. Yeah, uh, exactly. It was yeah. a 4-0. 4-0. Yeah. Thank so, you. You yeah, yeah, always give me good news. <laughs> but, you know, um, yeah, it was just... It felt amazing to win a derby 5-1. Uh, Mkhitaryan, like you said, ageing like a fine wine, I think. Um, Turam was also, for me, he was a standout. He's been playing well and now he's, he's on the score sheet uh, a couple weeks in a row and he's scored a screamer, absolute screamer, as we saw in the highlights before. Um, and then Lautaro as well, you know, showing that he's a true captain when he's not scoring, he's assisting, getting involved, getting up, uh, getting everyone around him. Barella, like every week. I think it was just good. We just dominated, apart from the four minutes, as mentioned by our friend Pioli. Yeah, yeah. come on, um, Milan dominate the first four minutes. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. Yeah, they can take <laughs> Let's that. move on. We have another special uh, report from Ricardo from Melbourne is going to report uh, on Juventus. I have, I have a feeling there is pro Juventus <laughs> more than be pro Lazio in this game, but let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, buongiorno fellas Juventini. Juve Lazio, 3-1, 3-1. Good game, very good game. It's uh, the fourth game on the road that we're playing well, apart the Bologna. The uh, team looks solid. Uh, Blauvic is back. I don't, I don't know if he uh, never left, but uh, he's back. This season looks good. The team looks angry. They want to win. They work uh, compact. They got different tactics the last year. Uh, the stadium is back. So how I see this game yesterday, first half, you were probably from a Scudetto type of uh, play. Second half, probably in the first four. Uh, Vlaovic is back. The stadium, the supporter, Champion League style. So watch out because uh, we there. I, look, I feel comfortable one game at a time. Forza Juve, fino alla fine, andiamo! 
I have this feeling that it's pro Juve, Ricardo. So. Well done, Ricardo. It was a very good report. I have to say, Ricardo sent me a private message. Goes, I wish I had more time. I could speak about more other stuff and I think, don't worry, Ricardo, you'll have plenty of time. So, a quickly one on Juventus, so we move on because Ricardo can cover up everything and who better than Ricardo can cover up for Juventus for us. Um, finally, some good uh, performance on the pitch for Juventus. Uh, it's funny, talking about uh, Garcia for Napoli, uh, Allegri two weeks ago, Allegri out. Now, Juventus performing, everybody talking about big contender for the title. Pioli is on fire since the derby Pioli out. I don't really like this football where people change opinion over 45 minutes. I got people that send me messages at half time. And then at the end of the game, and the two messages don't match. They change opinion at half time during the game and the end of the game. And that's a typical thing uh, now. Finally, like I said, Juventus have some beautiful time on the pitch. You know, Schiesa scoring, Blavich scoring. They play football. They really impressed me this yeah. year. Yeah. But, um, and lucky for them because off the pitch has been still a night. Remember last week we said, ah, Juventus keep us busy. We, we finished the show, we got home, Bonucci, Bonucci took Juventus to court. <laughs> and then Cristiano Ronaldo on? knocking on the door for the 20 minutes. So at least on the park, Juventini have something to look forward. Off the park, we don't even need to touch that because no. we don't know what's right, what's wrong, exactly. what's gossip, what's not. It's just what's worth mentioning because last week Juventus keep us busy and thank God we did the show before we find out the other news. Otherwise, we'll be editing and re-editing always about Juventus. Exactly. You want to add anything quickly on Juventus? Otherwise, I'm happy to go ahead because we've got a couple of surprises coming up. Not about Juve, but... Um Padre Matteo sent us a letter from the monastery. He's just uh, <laughs> saying that there'll be no video this week because he's scared they're going to kick him out if he made a review. So thank you for letting us yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Padre Matteo didn't want to swear on TV <laughs> and lose the title to become to be Padre <laughs> Matteo. Matteo, we all with you in this moment. If you need, reach out. So, know, uh, huh? We all been in this position once <laughs> in our life. We all copied four or five goals, so it's okay. All right, guys. Now, finally, the moment arrived. You say why? Because we have a special surprise for all of you. Oh, yes. We have a special uh, inviato. Are you saying inviato in English? A reporter. Special, yeah. special reporter from two mine ground in Serie A this week. We're not going to tell you who there is or which game. You're going to find out yourself. So, studio, send us the special report from Serie A this week. Adam here for Cultural Talk and uh, Global TV at the Derby della Madonnina here at the San Siro. Things are unbelievable here outside. Uh, as everyone knows, the first time we're first and second are playing off um, in Serie A, uh, top of the table. That'd be Milano. Let's go inside. Night two for our Serie A bumper weekend for Cultural Talk and Global TV. We're here outside the stadio. We've got Porte Duca. Fans are going off. It's going to be a magical atmosphere tonight, almost back after two weeks. Cultural talk, it's great to have, to have been with you this weekend and we'll do it again in a couple of weeks time. Thank you. Well done, well done. Guys, can I say Sunny? Well done, Adam. Yeah, well done. Hey guys, so welcome. What are you doing? Open up your computer. Come on, man. This guy, man, he can't send the title. The ends of uh, the show, Straight he's ready away. to go home. We haven't finished yet. We've got a YouTube <laughs> viewers now to thank. So Sorry. guys, Zio Amo, Alessandro and Vito back here. Thank you for watching the whole YouTube video. If you manage to get to this point, it's because you watched all the YouTube video. So remember, please help us, support us. Let our community grow. Like, comment and share. Subscribe to our channel so you get the notification when the next episode will be up. Also, if you want to watch the full episode of this, you can just go to Global TV, IGTV. You can go to the app or to the website. Log in, create your account. It's for free and you can watch all episodes for free. Now, in this video, we cannot show you the highlights of Serie A or Serie B or any particular highlights we're going to show during the show. But if you go and watch our video, the whole video on Global TV, there will be no censoring, no cut. You will see every single goal of Serie A, Serie B. You will see a lot of special contests. They're only available on the full episode. So, in every say so, Alessandro, Vito, now you can close your computer. Thanks for coming, and hopefully, guys, see you next week. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.